So I want to introduce you to someone. You, 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 a lot of you have met him already. Um, he's from Birmingham. His name's Dean Smith, and he led the strike there in, in, in uh, 2017 when the council was trying to take 400,000 off off the workers, and they ended up costing them eight eight million pounds. Thanks, Dean. Cheers. Hi everybody, um, my name is Dee Smith, as Tony said, I'm the convener for Birmingham City Council. Uh, we've been through two massive industrial actions, one in 2017, which is the fire and rehire sort of situation that you guys find yourselves in today. Um, we had another one in 2019, which was a blacklisting claim. So I just want to pass a message of solidarity today, really. I've come from Birmingham with 800 members behind me from Birmingham, supporting every single, every single one of you that are on strike today. Every single one of you. Right? That's, that's, that's a given, 100% given. So, I know what you guys are feeling right now. I understand it completely, my members understand it from Birmingham, and I'm sure other authority members of Unite and other unions understand where you're going. I've gone round and met some of you, and uh, I understand completely that there's a, a lot of anticipation, nerves, but I can assure you that our industrial action took five months. Five months of hard work. Now, this is hard work. Some people don't understand that the mental strain on just you guys and then your families because of where you are now, with, with the cuts that are coming into place, your terms and conditions are threatened by people that are earning 100 clap a year. It's unacceptable. Unacceptable. That's why I've said to all of you today that you now are that front line for all of us, including us at Birmingham, because there's no reason why they can't come back. You guys must remain strong. You're doing it for the right reasons. Your terms and conditions that you signed were legal and binding, were they not? You guys do a fantastic job cleaning the streets for Thurrock residents. You enjoy that job. Nobody in that building behind has got the right to take them rights from you. Nobody. Nobody. As I say, five months of, of, of slugging it out on a picket line, and as Tony rightly said, you'll now go into full full day strike. Now we were there too. All I'm going to say today is that you've got everyone watching this picket line. Not just for support and solidarity, but also to make sure that this doesn't happen anywhere else across the country, maybe even the nation. You guys are standing up for something that to me is morally right. It's morally right for hundreds of reasons. The first one I'm going to say is, why should they take four grand off of you? That £4,000 is people's mortgages. It's taking the kids to, I don't know, holidays. Your kids, yeah, your families. Them guys in there on 100 clap a year with, with massive pensions, driving around in flash cars. It's quite ironic, isn't it, that this doesn't affect them. But yet they run the show. It's ridiculous. So my message from Birmingham, and you can probably imagine I'm not good at this really. Um, my message from Birmingham is stay strong. Do not give in. If you see people that are struggling, get round them. We will be back. I will be back on this picket line at some point in the near future, regardless of how long this takes. Believe in your reps. Believe in each other. And I promise you, there will be a huge victory here, and will be a massive elation. Yeah. So keep going strong. And I wish you all the best. Well, Andrew, thank you. Okay, good. 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 Yeah, look, that, that's, it's amazing. I want to give a big thanks for Dean. He's come a long way to be here as well. And I'm not going to repeat what he said. The fact is, is that the Birmingham bin men have been through the wars as well. We're in the wars now. They've been through it and they came out the other end. And I also want to mention about the bus drivers up in Gold Northwest, who also had a massive victory after seven or eight weeks. Now, I want to kind of address the election that happened here as well. The reality is, is that we were never, ever going to rely on an election. It was never about politicians who were going to come over the hill and save us. It was about us organising, us standing up for ourselves, and and, 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 and and us doing the business. And you've seen that you've seen that here day after day, showing up every day, strong, united. We are up against it. As I said before, these people have, have, have resources, and they've got bunny boy tactics, and they've got spite, and they've got lies. And got but there's things that we have. There's things that we have. We've got courage, we've got resilience, and we've got our solidarity as well. Yeah. Right? People like us, people like us built this world, we built everything in it, and people like them are good for nothing but trying to profit off the work that we do, you know? So stick together, folks, and I tell you this, we're going to see the end of it. We're going to throw everything, fucking everything we have, the kitchen sink at them, it's do or die, 
full time strike. And the last question I want to ask you here as well are people here willing to give up today? No. Are people here willing to back down? No! And are people here willing to stand strong and fight for what's ours? Yes! That's it. Well done. Victory to the Horror Breakfast Workers.